And that's probably when I found God, because, like, uh, I sat down, and I was praying. I was praying that all the pain would leave, and, uh, and like, you know, oh, pardon me, I got bells there, yeah. and, like, my wife would, uh, you know, be happy, and my kids would be happy. And that the pain would go, and like everything was all, you know, would just come out fine. And uh, I split my ring. Oh, don't fucking believe it. Fucking pain I went through then. I split my fucking ring. Oh, fucking blood. You wouldn't believe it. I only threw up. I did actually. I threw up in the in the bathtub at the time and the sink. Uh, I managed to miss my boots, which is quite unusual, because they were actually off my feet and in front of me at the time that I was throwing up. Uh, I just, just, I just couldn't go anywhere near them. I was in the bathtub, in the sink, you know. Kid opened the door, threw up in her face. In a gob, in fact. She had a gob up because she was screaming. Uh, wife came around, threw up in her... The other one came around, the daughter, she's about eight now, lovely, beautiful girl, threw up in her fucking face as well. It was a, just, you know, it's just, yeah, terrible, bloody, split me bastard ring. And then afterwards, you know, yeah, I'm, 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 I actually fell off the seat and I was laid there, just looking and throwing up in my own, throwing up puke, you know. But not in the boots, the boots are still fine, they were... Really clean, nice Dr. Martins, you know, Chelsea boots, and polished them as well. No fucking, nothing on them at all. You know, it was just kids were running around covered in vomit. And my wife was screaming, she had blood and vomit all over herself because I started fucking, you know, projectiling blood from my arse, you know. Absolute nightmare, I tell you. The Ebola virus would have been easy to clean up and... Uh, you know, fucking hemorrhoids. Fuck me, anyway. It wasn't even hemorrhoids, actually. It just turned out to be some kind of ball bearings I'd eaten by accident. They just, you know, just split me ass. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, about, about that point, after the last ball bearing, which was about, about, about 20 centimetres, right? It was like giving fucking birth. I uh, so, you know. I think I'm just, that's when I found God, you know, amazing, yeah, I'll tell you what he said to me, he said, you, you fucking idiot, he did, he said, you fucking idiot, what are you doing eating ball bearings, and I was like, I don't know, there's no excuse for it, you know, I'm, I'm 48, there's no excuse for eating ball bearings at my age. I mean, when I was a little kid, I put little ball berries in my eyeball, but they were tiny. They weren't fucking 20 centimetres, you know what I mean? God just said to me, fucking idiot. Look at your kids. They're covered in puke. Your wife's got blood and shit and puke all over her, you know. You know, it's like, calm down, lad, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, yeah, you're right, God. And that is when I found God. So since then, I've not eaten any ball bearings. I've been all right. Yeah, so God's not talked to me at all. My wife hasn't either. I haven't seen her for fucking weeks. Uh, so, yeah. The kids, godless, I don't know what the fuck they are. 